Welcome back to Tyrus Traveling Braids, Hot Mess Lady. I am going to do a large canvas. What is this? What size is it? 16 by 20, two inch gallery. Um, I'm gonna, that one painting that was an absolute horror show. I think I did like an hour and 20 minute video on it. It was awful. I actually tried to paint over again, didn't like it. And this one I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna keep for my own collection. So I'm gonna do a painting on top of this. I won't mind the imperfections. I'll save my other plain canvas for uh, professional, you know. But I am, recently I got inspired. I, I came across Dakota's dog tags, his collar, and I, bleh, I just, bleh. Dakota, I will put a picture of him in this video. Um, a couple of pictures of him in this video. I, I just love the dog. He's gone. I miss him. I, you never, you never, you never. There's no way. So, before I start crying, I want to do a painting that is white and black. And um, he was American Bulldog Johnson line, which is the stock year of the, of the American Bulldogs. Um, you have a Scott line, they're a little taller and they're, they're a little bit more like a boxer look. Um, and he was deaf and he was all white with little black specks. And so I said, I'm going monochromatic and I'm going to paint for you, Dakota. I know you're in heaven. And I know you still love me, so let's go ahead and get into this before I start crying. <laughs> so I've got white Amsterdam. I mixed quite a bit of it because it's a big canvas. And um, I fixed the black paint that was too th thick for the last painting that I did coasters that should be up on YouTube by now. Let's see here. There we go, big, big piece. This is the old one, not pretty. Don't like it. I mean, it's kind of cool just the way it is, but it's not for me. So, the black. It's about a one second puddle. Nothing too crazy. I didn't want to get too thin. But um, this this paint is artist acrylic. You get it at Job Lots. Um, I think. I don't know if there's any place else. And then this one is a zero puddle. And I've got two of them because I'm going to use one for swiping. So I just wanted to make sure I had enough. Let me go ahead and get this out of the way. I don't have any room. Do, do, do. So let me, I mix everything in on top. So let me dry it off. see how this goes thank you everyone if you're new here um, I, I don't do an awful lot of canvas work I've got billions of canvases painted so <laughs> I've been working a lot more with functional art but once in a while you just got to get your canvas out you just got to so I splurged a few weeks ago and got some canvases and I have one more of these left uh, and then I'll go back to tins tiles and coasters and whatnot so just so you know so I got some nice white paint here go ahead and get her on there Let's see. as you see I really need to get to leveling because <laughs> I just I just don't do it I don't do it It's worth leveling, so don't always, you know, this is for entertainment purposes only, how about that? But let's just go with that. Let me throw some gloves on, because I gotta do some spreading and I wanna tilt it. I don't wanna use anything because of the uh, paint underneath it. Okay, am I turning, mixing you around a lot? Like, what's going on here? Come on, Ty. Jeez, that box did not want to give me my gloves. No, it did not. Oh, I'm just dropping everything everywhere. All right. OK. 
Okay, I'm going to look for gobbledygooks in here as well. I think I spy one. Like I said, this is going to be a personal painting. And I'm a lot easier on myself than if I was looking to sell this one. Golly goop has been captured and destroyed! Oh, going to have some more gobbly goops, but I'm going to find them because I'm doing this. And of course, I freshly, you know, mixed it and didn't let it settle or, or whatever. You know, that's how I roll. I just keep going. Okay, I got quite a few gobbly goops. I got to capture and destroy. Okay, tips to avoid gobbledygooks, now that I've got a ton of them. Uh, strain your flow trough. Um, take your time. Let it settle. Don't rush things. You know, everything that I don't do. So may reveal more gobbly goops as I thin this out over the canvas, but so I don't always strain my flow trawl personally, but I do do it from time to time. So just so you know. When I can tell it's a very fresh flow draw, when I buy it, I usually don't strain it. It's a secret. It's a secret. Don't tell. But I can save myself a lot of trouble. So that looks pretty sweet. Look at that white. All right. Time to take off these gloves and get into this. So what I'm going to do is some puddles of the black. Then I'm going to come back and swipe with white. And that's how I'm going to roll. Puddles of black. Maybe. Huh. Yeah. Stick with it, Tara. Stick with what you said. I always... I. If you're new here, you know, I change my mind so quickly all the time, nonstop. It's crazy. Let me tell you a little bit about Dakota. He's deaf. He was bought from a breeder in Florida to a family that believed in backyard dogs. And that's fine. I have nothing to say about that. You know, one day I'm going to live out in the country. I'm probably going to have an outdoor dog. However, they were in the country. So they had a house rental. And he lived outside. And that was that. They had to get an apartment at one point. And he was completely 100% not trained to be in the household. Like, when I say to you he preferred paper towels over steaks, I'm not kidding. It took a long time. So anyway, they gave him up. 
They gave him up. And he is like, whoa, he was so beautiful. It was crazy. So he was at the Pasco County ASPCA for longer than any other dog that they had. And he was also their most adopted dog. He literally got adopted every single weekend because of his good looks. Every single weekend he got returned by that Monday. No one very rarely spent more than 24 hours with him. So I had a friend, she's, I, I, I have, I've lost touch with her, I don't know, she moved back to New York, I think. Um, she, one night, she got herself a little buzz on, and her and her friend went over to the SPCA, and he drove, of course. She saw this dog and adopted him, because she was a dog trainer, okay? She brought him home, <coughs> and uh, I think she went... Oh, uh, maybe 36 hours with him. She couldn't do it. And uh, she brought him back. So there I was. I come into the store. She owned a cigarette store. And as you know, you probably have seen my cigarettes on the table. Um, so I used to go in there all the time, hang out with her and buy my cigarettes from her. She was like, awesome. And I go in there one day and she's freaking out. I'm like, what are you freaking out about? What is going on? She told me what she did. And she was very sad and very upset because he was, like, if you were to judge him based on AKC methods, this dog was perfection when it comes to looks. And so she's like, you could do this dog. You can handle it. At this time, I already have two dogs, okay? That's Charlie and Addison. <laughs> so she calls up the shelter and says, hey, I got somebody that might be interested in that dog. Would they be able to use my adoption money that she paid? They're like, yeah, if she likes him, absolutely, we'll do that. Because this dog needs a place to live. He's been here forever. He was, at the time, 11 months old. He was turned in when he was 7 months old. He's been there a long while. And um, the only thing that was going to end up happening to him, if somebody didn't come in and stand up, he was going to end up a bait dog. There's no way around it. Because he, he just, it just was what it was. So I went in there to go look at the dog. Sure enough, they already have him on a leash with his bag of food there, and I'm like, okay, I guess I'm bringing him home. And I said, we'll see how it goes. And I worked that dog so hard. My daughter and I both, we worked him, I think it was almost a month and a half. He had to live in a crate because he could not be around the other dogs because they hated him. Um, he always had to be on a leash. We had to walk him with the other dogs on splitters to get them to pack up together. Um, I think I did an hour a day. She did another hour a day. Total, it was a few hours of training with this dog. And my daughter was lost it. I lost it. I'm like, I can't do this. So I returned the dog. Don't judge. When I tell you that animals are able to communicate with you, believe me. I was so mad because this dog was so hard and I loved him so much and he loved me. There was no doubt about it. I started, he, he was coming to me in my dreams. He was like, mom, you gotta come get me. You gotta come get me. So I went to the lady that introduced me to this dog, really upset with her. And the whole situation. <laughs> she calls them again. And they're like, uh, this dog is no longer available for adoption. It's probably going to die of heartbreak. And I got on the phone with him. I said, please let me come get him. I will never bring him back. You will never hear from me or him again. And he said, as long as you promise. I showed up to this place. I, I had, he was at the shelter for maybe two days. And when I showed up at that shelter, he was out in the run. He immediately knew I was there. He had lost, in that two days, 
close to 10 pounds he hadn't eaten since I dropped him off. And boy, oh boy, was he happy that I came and got him. Boy, oh boy, was he ever. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. I never let go of him until it was time. And never, never surrendered him again. So be careful when you adopt animals that you don't think about surrendering. It's really hard. Don't do it. It really was very difficult. And it was awful. For him, it was awful. But he got me back, and he knew it. He knew I was coming back. And this one's for him. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, I got a little teary, but I'm going to be okay. Now, this isn't going to look like him. I'm just going to know that it is him because it's black and white. That was him. And he lived with me for the rest of his life. And he loved me unconditionally. And he could talk to me. So, like I said, he was deaf. So, I could say his name and he would come to me. Okay? <laughs> he just knew when I needed him. I didn't have to talk to him. He just knew. Oh, what did I do there? He knew. And I'm pretty sure he could read minds. Hey, only time he barked is if he had pizza. God forbid you have... I have video of that. Probably on my old YouTube channel of him begging for pizza. It, it, oof. Cutie patootie. I miss him. And I'm just so blessed that he was in my life at all. I gotta say. That I just means the world to me. All of those dogs. That was one hell of a pack. Then I have this dog, this beautiful puppy that I got now. She adopted me. Crazy. She just, she basically looked at me and said, I'm going home with you and that's that. And that's what happened. The next day she went out to my car and got in it and was out the door. She's like, see ya. And that was it. So, dogs and me, special things. Oh, this is really pretty. I'm going to use that little one. I think we'll play around a little here. See if I got something going on. Let's see if... Might be too thin to scoop. But... Yeah, the scooping thing and me are not really fans. Sorry for the snufflings, I got a little emotional. I don't know why I did that, but hey, I did. I'm gonna stretch it. I wanna stretch it, it's so pretty. This is gonna be beautiful. Oh, thank you, Dakota. My little baby. So yeah, my other dogs never, ever, 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 ever. Charlie was my, my baby boy. I was, I mean, he would never have left my side unless I had him separated. Because if Dakota was near me, he'd attack him. Like, he did not like him. Addison didn't like anybody. I think what happened with Addison was uh, when she... She was at a very crucial point in her development. Um, I was obviously new to dog ownership. She was probably fixed a little too young. And uh, then in comes Dakota into her life, but she wasn't having it. She was like, who is this? And she came from a line of Amstaff. American Staffshire Terrier, beautiful line, gorgeous, <laughs> wow, insanely beautiful dog, um, and really sweet, she was the greatest, <laughs> actually, she's wonderful, she just wasn't great with other dogs, and her line was, her mom was a problem, it wasn't a good line, 
so she inherited some of that. So mix it with fixing her a little too early in her life, introducing a, a new big old dumb dog that she couldn't control. She wasn't liking it. She didn't like him. I am not going to start to tell that anymore. I, I love it the way it is. I think I want to do some playing with it, though, a little bit. Well, nope, it won't crack. I don't have any for it. Get a wrecking tool. Yeah, she just didn't like it. <laughs> her and Charlie, if I had just stayed with her and Charlie, they both would have been fabulous forever. Addison was the last dog of that bunch that I had. It was actually my daughter's dog. And uh, I miss her every day. She was a handful. So I don't think I'll ever do like a huge dog family like that again. I don't know. I'm different. I've grown up a lot. It was a different time. I miss Charlie. Oh, I miss them all. It's crazy. I have their paws in my curio. Except for Addison's paws. I don't have hers. I have her ashes. Not her, like the actual paws, like the imprints. <laughs> I miss them. I, I'm doing these little whimsical things because Dakota was kind of whimsical, you know? He was a goofy boy. And he didn't care. As long as he got to be with me, he didn't care. He didn't care about anything else. He just wanted to be with me. And uh, I'm glad that he, um, I'm glad that he did. Changed my life forever. This is epic. So fancy. She knows all about it. She's of the same line of those guys. What a beautiful, beautiful line of animals. And if I have any chance of going to heaven, it's because of them. God's graces, for sure. Yeah, I'll put pictures of them in here for you. Okay. Huh. That goofy dog you might have heard of? He reminds me of Dakota a lot. Big goofy dog. All right, guys. This right here, really, I feel very Dakota. Like his actual coloring. You'll see when you see the pictures. This spot right here. Oh, God, that looks just like him. Hi. All right. 
Let's hit it with some fire. I think it's fun. I really do. I really, really like it. I never do just two colors, ever. All right, let's get you in for a closer look. Yeah. Oh, it's so precious. All right, here we go. Hold on. Hey guys, sorry for the glare. This section right there, right there, that's what he looks like. Whimsical black and white swipe. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to see it dry. I just love it. I love it, I love it, I love it.